What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with not really a tutorial. It kind of is, it kind of isn't. Uh, but I have one of my subscribers named Roshan Harding who had commented on one of my videos the other day and had asked me um, to do a, um, to maybe show a video on how to get Stop the Ped and Compulite to work. And I told him I would do one but all he really needed to do was throw an up-to-date Rage and AVI into his main directory. So today I'm not going to be showing you how to install the mod. I won't be showing you how to install it. I will show you where it goes in your directory, but I will not be showing you how to install it. But I will be showing you how to make it work properly, and I will take you into my game and show you that my Stop the Pet and Compulite all work great. So with that being said, guys and girls, the first thing that you everybody out there that uses Pajocho plugins or any other kind of plugin that you might need to know is that a majority of plugins need an up-to-date RageNativeUI.dll to run. Okay, so for example, I'm going to pull up my main game directory through Steam right here, and I'm going to go to plugins and I'm going to go to my LSPFR. Okay, so right now the pathway I'm I'm in is Grand Theft Auto Five plugins and LSPFR. Now, if you look down in here, you will see all of my plugins. You will see everything I use from CompuLite to ALPR Lite to ALP traffic cameras uh, to stop the ped to auto backup. All of those mods that I am mentioning right now, aside from ALPR traffic cameras, all require an up-to-date RageNativeUI.dll. Now, you can have one in your directory, but a majority of the time, if that RageNativeUI.dll is not up-to-date, your plugins are not going to work right okay so here's what you want to do there is one thing i'm going to show you how to install now when you if you are just installing stop the pet for the first time i will link a video in the top right corner taking you to my video that shows you how to install stop the pen and how to install compulite all right uh, i will take you to that video now uh where that goes okay if you are installing stop the pen for the first time in this video for whatever reason that you are you want to just grab the plugins folder from your Stop the Pet WinRAR and drag and drop it into your main directory, which should be in Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps Common, and Grand Theft Auto 5. That's where you want to drop that plugins folder, guys. Anytime, anytime, guys, that you have a mod that has a plugins folder, right? A downloaded mod, it's got a plugins folder. You can grab that plugins folder and pull it into your main directory, and it's going to. It's going to blend with this plugins folder. And what I mean by blend is if you have a plugins folder here in your WinRAR, you've obviously got one in your main directory. If you drag and drop that, whatever's in that plugins folder from that WinRAR is going to go directly where it's supposed to. So if it's a direct plugin, which means it goes in the plugins folder, it's going to go into the plugins folder, okay? If it goes to plugins LSPFR and that pathway, then the mods that you're installing will go directly to plugins and lsp4 i really hope that makes sense guys let me show you as a matter of fact exactly what i'm talking about here as i will bring up my um i will bring up a plugin <clears throat> for you guys real quick just to show you what i mean um so my lsp4 plugins and i'm just gonna pull one out here and i'll pull out my stop the pet okay i'll just pull that one out just for because we're talking about it all right, so in my Stop the Ped WinRAR, you're going to notice that if you double-click on the Stop the Ped, once you open it up, you've got a plugins folder right here. See that? Now, if I open this plugins folder, you're going to see a LSPFR folder, okay? If I go to my main directory and double-click on that plugins folder, you're also going to see the same type of folder right here, LSPFR. Now, if I go back to my WinRAR and click on LSPFR, you're going to see all these files right here, okay? And if I go to my main directory... I'll be in plugins right here, see, and click on that LSPFR. This is where all these files would go, right? If we open it up like that, that's how you would install them. Now, if you go back in your WinRAR to where the plugins folder is and go back in your main directory to where the plugins folder is, okay? If I were to take this plugins folder from my WinRAR and drag it and drop it, it's going to go exactly where it needs to. So all them files that you see beyond right here, are going to go into plugins and LSPDFR. That's what I mean about how they'll blend with the plugins folder. With that out of the way, what you need to make your Stop the Pad or any Bajojo mod that you may be using to run correctly is you're going to need a RageNativeUI.dll, but it needs to be up to date. Now, if you'll look at this one, guys, 
if I highlight this, you will see that this one is from 1219 of 2021, okay? Now, if you click the link in the description, it's going to bring you to this page. Anytime you need an up-to-date RaiseAnyViewI.dll, you guys can always go to Google and just type in RaiseAnyViewI.dll, and you will always find the most recent one here made by PNW Parks fan, okay? PNW Parks fan uh, has done a lot of great mods around the community. For example, this one, Coastal Callouts. Um, he's also got a few other mods um, that 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 help us with our LSPFR. So what you want to do here, guys, is you want to scroll down and click on the raised to DVI dot zip. See how it says May twenty eighth, twenty twenty two. It is recently updated. PNW Parks fan is good about updating his mods, okay, or his scripts or whatever he's got. He is great about updating them, okay. So you want to click the RaisingAVI.zip right here. You are now going to see a download up here in the corner. If you click that folder, it takes your downloads folder just like that. Let's close out of this. And let me get rid of the one on my desktop. And I'll pull this one out with you guys. All right. Now, what you need to do is you need to open up your main game directory. Now, if you're playing on Epics, this is the pathway you want to go. You want to go to this PC. You want to select the hard drive where you installed your GT5. Then you want to select Epic Games and GTA 5. Right there it is. If you are on Steam, you want to go to this PC. You want to go to the C drive. Okay, if you're on the C drive, go to Program Files 86. Scroll down, go to Steam. Scroll down again and go to Steam Apps and then Common. And then right here is your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. Okay, there it is. That's what you need. Now, once you open up this RageDVY.dll, all right. The only thing you need in here is literally the Rage NWI.dll. I see so many, so many other people that do tutorials and say, okay, let's just highlight everything right here and we're going to drag and drop just right there. And then people wonder why their game is crashing. I know it's not your fault. You're watching these people because you're desperate to get your game working. I get it. LSPFR is awesome. We all love it. We all love it. But you're following the wrong content creators. My channel, Jeffrey Gamer, Benzo, that's where it is. That's where it is, guys. If you want good, solid, wholesome tutorials that are going to always lead you in the right direction and never steer you wrong, our channels is where you want to be, okay? So, in the WinRAR, you want to grab the RageNativeUI.dll, and if you'll notice, this one is from 528 of 2022, okay? That is up to date. That is up to date, okay? So, you want to grab this. Now, at this point, you should be in your main directory, okay? You, in your main directory, you should see your plugins folder, update, time 64, script. Uh, if you have a script folder, that should be there. Your LSP folder, that's where you should be at right now, okay? Now, you want to grab this ragedntofui.dll, pull it into your main directory, in which you should be in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5, okay? Or if you're on Epics, you should be in Epic Games GTA 5. That's where you should be. Pull that RageNVI.dll into your main directory just like this. Drop it in. Now, before you replace it, if you have to replace it, okay? If you don't, then you are done with this part of the video unless you want to watch the in-game showcase. Um, this is how you tell if your RageNVI.dll is up to date or not. You want to go down and compare info for both files, okay? So, the one on my left is the files from the WinRAR, the one I dropped from the WinRAR. The one on my right is the one that's already in my main directory, okay? So, as you can see right here, both are the same date, obviously, because I have the most recently of the date. Uh, but I'm going to click cancel, and I'm going to go ahead and replace the file because it's the same exact one. Then we would refresh, close out, close out of that. I recommend taking this RageNWI.ELO and storing it somewhere in your folder somewhere, guys, so you can keep it. This is what I do. I'll show you guys what I do. All right, I'm going to put this back into my downloads, and I would then scroll down to my E drive where all my LSPFR stuff is, and I would put this into um, my LSPFR main install file folder right here. Right here, LSPFR main install file. See that? And I would just drop that in there. Of course, it's going to ask me to replace it because I already have it. And you can make a folder for these guys. If you put them in a folder, if you put them in a folder from your downloads and then drag it to your desktop, you're still going to have it. If you guys will notice, if you go into my main install files, I've got everything I need for LSP4 right here. All right? Same thing for plugins. There's all my plugins. Security file. Sirens. Skins. Vehicles. You can make any kind of folder you want if you got the room for it. With that said, guys, remember to always, always 
clean out your recycle bin is it's very important. All right, guys, I'm going to take you in the game and I'm going to show you that my uh, Stop the Pet and CompuLite works just fine. We'll see you all inside the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is showtime. We're going to make a traffic stop here so I can show you guys that my um, Stop the Pet menu and all that's working. CompuLite's working. I'm just going to make a quick traffic stop here and show you guys all that. Uh, the RegistrationMUI.DLL has everything to do with your um, Stop the Pad and a vast majority, if not, if I'm not mistaken, if not all, of your Bajojo plugs, plugins, uh, in order for them to work, you got to have an up-to-date RegistrationMUI.DLL, guys. I don't know... Um, if it, like I said guys watch me or watch Jeffrey or watch Benzo you'll be watching the right content creators I promise you we will never steer you guys wrong so let's go ahead and try to pull up our CompuLite as you guys can see there it is um, again big shout out to Roshan Harding for uh, this uh, recommendation on this uh, this suggestion on this tutorial as you guys can see it's all working uh, it's all working great um, there's our suspect right there and uh, all right and then now we're gonna hop out and I'm hoping he doesn't shoot at me because he is a wanted suspect so I'm gonna get my gun out just in case I'm gonna walk I'm gonna use my traffic stop menu so press the E guys there it is you can ask for all documents you guys if you watch my stop the pet video you'll see how all this works so there's that and then if I want to pull up the uh, context menu which is right here uh, that's going to be for your tow truck and all that good stuff. Uh, request vehicle check. Target vehicle license plate. 210 Zebra Tom King 332. A traffic felony. Approach with caution. But as you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead and let this guy go even though he needs to be going to jail. Um, as you guys can see, my CompuLite as well as my... Uh, Stop the pet is working. Uh, so again, big shout out to Roshan Harding. This video is for you, man, because you wanted me to do a video on it. That's simply how you get those two mods to work. That's how you get them to work, man. Just you've just got to have an up-to-date rage interview on in your main directory. That's pretty much it. Um, with that being said, guys and girls, subscribe if you're new, smash that like button for me, click that bell, and click all to never miss any future content or live streams. Until next time, guys and girls, God bless. Take care, stay in prayer, love one another. And peace out. If you're a member of Patreon, your name will be on the screen here in just a second. Love you guys so much. We'll see you all in the next video.